part 4 of the Shopify dropshipping tutorial and today's video is going to be on Facebook ad strategy. Now keep in mind I'm going under the assumption that everyone here already knows how to set up Facebook ads. If you don't I'm actually considering maybe making like an entire separate video series just about Facebook ads like setting them up to optimizing them and everything so I could probably go on for an hour about Facebook ads so if you're someone who knows absolutely nothing about Facebook ads and you'd like me to make a series on that you can leave that in the comments but this one this video is for people that have used Facebook ads before but they're just you know it's not working out they're looking for a better ad strategy that they can use so this is the best strategy that I've found so far so this is going to be based off of using the tripwire offers as I mentioned in part 3 on setting up products. So what you will do is you will have your item that you're going to give away for free plus shipping and you're going to set up 5 separate ads for that item. Now how I like to do it is to set my targeting, the first ad to be semi broad and then slowly get narrower and narrower each ad so the fifth ad would be the most targeted. Now ways you can do this is by uh, editing the age group, uh, the gender, page likes, interest, and things like that. It's going to vary. Your options will vary depending on whatever niche you're in. So your first ad is going to be the broadest, the biggest audience. And then you're slowly going to get smaller and smaller smaller audiences. Now you don't have to do it just like this. If you want you can just set up five sort of different audiences. Maybe they're all the same size. You're just targeting different age groups. That can work too. Like say you're just targeting a specific page like or something and you know one of your ads is for 20 to 30 years old and another's for 31 to 39 and others from 41 to 49. I mean you can do that too. I prefer the broad to narrow strategy but that one does work as well. So after you've set up those ads, what you're going to do is you're not going to set the tracking, conversion tracking, for checkouts right away. And that may seem weird and abnormal, and I know a lot of people don't do this, but I prefer to set it for people landing on your page, your item page. So you could set it for, you could set up the Facebook pixel specifically for tracking the page with the tripwire offer or you could just optimize the ad for the website clicks. Now if you don't know how to do this stuff I could put that into the possible video series I can make so once again if you'd like to see that made leave it in the comments. So you're gonna optimize for website clicks because what we're looking for in the beginning is we just want to see which ad is most likely to perform the best in the long term. So we just want to see which group of people is most interested in the items. Just because if someone clicks, you know they're interested. Not everyone that's interested is going to buy right away. But all we're worried about in the beginning is who's interested. Who's the most interested? Who's most likely to click our ads? So that's why we're optimizing for that and not conversions right away. So from there, you're going to run each ad for five dollars a day for two days I mean you can do more if you want but I don't really like to because I feel like you're just throwing out money like I know you know everyone wants to start in fast make a bunch of money but you know I'm obviously about making a bunch of money but I'm also not about just throwing money at my computer screen and losing money unnecessarily so if you run each ad five dollars a day for two days that's only fifty dollars it's a fifty dollar experiment to see how well your ads are, your niche, and everything like that. So after the two days, you're going to go back and you're going to check your ad performance. Now ideally, you'd like to be break even or better here. So if you spent $50 on your five ads, you would have liked to have made $50 or more back through your tripwire offers. Now sometimes you will be slightly below break even. Say maybe you only made $30 back, and this is where the judging gets slightly more complicated like it's not always straightforward it depends on the specific ads like if you have like three out of five ads that look like they're performing well like they're they're getting a lot of website clicks and things like that and just two of them are just doing terrible 
then maybe you want to keep going even if you're not breaking even yet because those bad ads are bringing your your overall average down. So that leads into the next part where you're going to just completely cut out the worst ads. So probably it's it's very rare that all five of your ads are going to be performing optimally. So ideally here you're going to cut out at least two of your ads. And also while doing this, you're going to slowly scale into your better performing ads. If you have an ad you're not sure about and you think it's performing kind of well, but you're kind of on the edge about it, then don't cut it out, but also don't put more money into it either. Just, just keep it the same and you can evaluate it in another two, three, four, five days. So you're going to add a little bit of funding to your best performing ads and this doesn't have to be all right I'm going to fifty dollars a day no you can just you could up it to 750 you could up it to ten dollars you don't have to up it by a lot you're just gonna slowly scale into these and go from there and you're also now is where you're gonna change your optimization to checkouts because now hopefully you have which audiences are the best to target so now you're gonna optimize for checkouts so you can really buckle down on what ads are performing the best uh, you know, what sales pitch on your ad, what text is working the best, what picture is working the best, things like that. So you're going to change your optimization to checkouts. So once you've done this, you're going to wait another few days, two days. I, I like to give these a little bit more, maybe three to four days, unless you're literally not making any money whatsoever. But like three to four days, and then you're going to evaluate again. And now at this point, you need to be breaking even here. You, you can't just keep losing money. Like, this isn't a traditional business, you know, start a restaurant and you don't profit for three years. No, like, you need to be profiting within the week or at least breaking even. We're not trying to go out and crap all our money into the computer. We're trying to make money and we're trying to make it back right away. So ideally, what you're looking for here, now that your optimization is set to checkouts, you know exactly which ads are actually making you a decent amount of money. You can see if one ad has had 10 conversions and your tripwire offers for $10 and you're profiting $5 for each one of those and you spent $40, then that ad brought you $10 profit. So that's a good ad that's safe to scale up. Or any ad that's breaking even at this point is safe to scale up. Because keep in mind, the tripwires aren't going to be the main source of your income and your sales. What they're meant to do is be your main source of advertising and they're there so that way your advertising is free and best case scenario your advertising is also profitable. That's what they're there for. So at this point you should already have an email list being built as well because you should have an email pop up on your site whenever someone lands on your page. I was going to go over emails later on but I'll just tell you this right now when you're sending people to your site for tripwires you'd also you don't want them leaving your site without having a chance to opt into your newsletter and it's easy to get people to opt into your newsletter by saying opt into our newsletter and you'll be sent a 20% off 30% off 50% off discount coupon so getting people on your newsletter is easy so at this point every ad that's not breaking even is crap it's gone it's, it's something's wrong with it either the audience targeting is wrong whatever it is you got to figure it out and it's gone you got to get rid of it a week in your ads should be breaking even and you should be getting endless amounts of free leads now and at this point you can pretty much scale up to your comfort level however much you're willing to spend I, I don't recommend scaling up from you know five dollars a day ten dollars a day and then out of nowhere to five hundred dollars a day or something it, it, it's, I mean, you can, but it's probably safer to slowly move up just to make sure that your ad continues to break even or profits with the tripwire offers. So from here, what you'll do is you'll just repeat this same strategy with other tripwires. Now, keep in mind, you can do this with like four tripwire offers at the same time. So if you, if you have, we'll go back to owls. Say I have owl necklaces, owl earrings, and owl bracelets. So I would have a tripwire for earrings, bracelets, and necklaces. So I would have three tripwires running at once. So I would have, in total, 15 ads running at the beginning. Now you don't have to start with this much. If you're on a lower budget, 
and you know spending hundred fifty dollars on ads in your first two days is too much you don't have to do that you can just start with one tripwire and if you've never done Facebook advertising before and you've never done any of this before it's probably best you start out with one tripwire just to make sure you know what you're doing before you go on and blow your money so basically that's the gist of the Facebook ad strategy obviously there's a lot more to Facebook ads themselves as in optimizing targeting optimizing the picture uh, making sure your text is right and things like that and as I've said previously in this video I've considered making a whole nother video series just on Facebook ads so if you'd like me to do that you can leave a comment saying you'd like to see it but this has just been an overview of a rather advanced Facebook ad strategy that I've tried to simplify as much as possible this should easily be enough for you to go out there and start breaking even on your ads right now and generating free leads now don't get discouraged if you're not it doesn't always happen the first time if you keep following the strategy and you keep optimizing your ads keep creating better ads every single time you're gonna get to the point where you can break even and profit on your ads and then everything else in your store is pure profit so as always thanks for watching the video tried to keep it as short as possible uh, let me know if you guys would like to know more in depth about Facebook ads and the next video part 5 is going to be on email list promotions and just other little small uh, extra things that you can do for your store so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video part 4 of the Shopify dropshipping tutorial and today's video 